Hi, this is Ben Finio with Science Buddies, and this video will show you how to build a two-stage balloon rocket. The activity simulates how real rockets use multiple stages to boost a payload into orbit. This approach saves energy because the first stage breaks away after its fuel is depleted. This means the second stage can continue traveling into space without dragging along the extra weight of the first stage. To do the activity, you will need scissors, two modeling balloons, which are the long skinny kind used to make balloon animals, not the round kind, two milkshake straws, a small ring cut from a paper towel tube, two large binder clips, tape, fishing line or smooth string, and a balloon pump to make it easier to inflate the balloons. Start out by threading the fishing line through both of the straws. Pull the fishing line tightly across the room and tie it to something sturdy on both ends like a heavy piece of furniture. Make sure the line is pulled tight and there is no slack. Next, pre-stretch one of the balloons to make it easier to inflate. Use the balloon pump to inflate the balloon about half to three quarters of the way. Don't inflate it so much that it starts to curve. It's important to keep the balloon straight. Use a large binder clip to pinch the nozzle of the balloon shut, and this will prevent it from deflating as you set up the rest of your rocket. Now, pull the nozzle of this balloon through the cardboard ring and press the nozzle up against the side like this. Thread a second balloon partially through the cardboard ring, a little less than halfway. This next part can be tricky, takes a little practice, and is much easier with two people. Inflate the second balloon such that it presses up against the inside of the cardboard ring and pinches the nozzle of the first balloon shut. You should be able to remove the binder clip and have the first balloon stay inflated. It might help to twist the first balloon once or twice to help keep the nozzle shut. If you can't get it to stay inflated, you can leave the binder clip there for now. Here you can see that I've removed the binder clip and this balloon stays inflated. Next, tape the balloons to the straws, doing your best to make sure they remain pointed in a straight line. Do not tape the two balloons to each other as this will prevent the two stages of your rocket from separating. Pull the balloons to one end of your string and prepare to release one or both binder clips depending on whether you're still using one on the first balloon. According to Newton's third law of motion, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. This means that when air is pushed out the back of the balloon, the balloon is pushed forward along the string. Your two balloons behave like the two stages of a rocket. The first stage keeps the nozzle of the second stage pinched shut until it starts to deflate. Then the second stage continues to travel along the string without needing to drag along the dead weight of the first stage. Your balloon rocket might not work perfectly on the first try, but don't worry. You might need to experiment with things like exactly how much you inflate the balloons or where you tape them to the straws along their length to get the rocket working well. To see written directions for this project, as well as instructions for thousands of other science and engineering projects, visit us online at www.sciencebuddies.org.